This is a basic Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial and this one is about audio. If you look down here at your clip you can see these waveforms down here. They represent the audio and this line across the waves shows you, gives you the option to adjust the volume. You click it and then you drag it up to make it louder. Highest is 12 decibel or you move it down and the lowest is minus infinity. That basically means there is no sound move it to where you want it or if you want to be more accurate you can go to the inspector click audio volume either move this one up or down or double click press the number and enter that's how you change the volume and if you want to detach the audio from your clip you can right click the clip and then select detach audio and then your audio is separated from your video and you can still adjust the volume here but now you can also move the audio around if you want it in a different place or disable it if you don't want to hear it and with backspace you can delete the audio and with command Z you can bring it back another thing that you can do is use the effect options click on the music symbol here and go through the music that you have on your Mac or just go through the sound effects choose something like this one then drag and drop it over here and disable this audio put the playhead over here and press play yes. and you can move it around and if you select it and press command C and command V you have it copied Let's delete that and go back to our original audio, right click enable. Let's say we want to keep this audio but we don't want it to start out really loud. So we can, if you see this button here, press it and move it over here. And you can see there's some darker over here and it's brighter over here. It means that this sound is lower than this one. If you play it, you can hear it's getting louder over time. And if you think it's too much, just click it again, move it back. And you can do the same at the end. And if you want it changed in the middle somewhere, you can use the blade tool, cut it, use the select tool. And here you have more of these little buttons. Also, if you have relatively bad audio and you just want to do some magic, you can select audio first, then press the magic button here and click auto enhance audio. Then here it showed a progress uh, analyzing the audio and here it shows you problems resolved. What problems? The loudness, noise reduced and hum removal. That's what you can do and if you say mm, I don't like it this loud or I don't want like these changes, you can untick this and the background noise is back. Tick this again and say I want the noise reduced but I want less noise reduced, we just use this one. And that's it for the audio.